I love Indian food, man. This is why I wanted to come here. Oh my God, so nice. It costs you 2,000 rupees just to get in. The trick to eating a buffet, especially dessert, is to just start cramming it in and eat as much as you can before you feel sick. The staff here are not interested in welcoming you or saying hello or anything. I've never seen anything like it before. And I've said that a lot about India. All right, we're leaving Delhi today. We're making our way into Rajasthan. Very, very excited to go there. First stop is a place called Nimrana. There's a mad fort palace there that's been converted into a hotel. And we're gonna go and stay there, see what it's all about. Let's go. Now the website we used to book the bus is redbus.in. Tells you the bus times, sends you clear instructions of exactly where to go to get the bus. 500 rupees per person. Takes us three hours into Rajasthan to Nimrana. There's actually beds on this bus and they were coming in at about 650 rupees per person. This is obviously only a short trip, so, and it's during the day. They're probably more expensive at night. Well, Nimrana. Get dropped off on the highway. Felt pretty dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> the people here in Nimrana are very welcoming. I only just turned up and everyone's like, hello, hey, hey, hello, waving at us from across the street. It's crazy, man. They're so friendly. <laughs> Don't really know what to do with myself. Where the bus dropped us off, it's like a half an hour walk to the Fort Palace and up this straight up the main road. And you start coming into sort of a market area here. It's quite, it's actually a lot more people here than I thought. I thought it was gonna be very quiet here. Well, we're here at the Nimrana Fort Palace. It's quite nice grounds, to be honest. It's a really cool old fort. It's like over 500 years old, this thing. I just think the staff here, for one, are not very friendly. I've asked just to see a room first because there's a lot of conflicting reviews. It's quite, no problem. Yeah, and it's, well, it's pretty expensive. I mean, it's the same price as what we just paid in the Imperial. So you'd expect some sort of good service and, uh, and everything to come with it. So I thought I'd just come here and double check the room before I, uh, before I go ahead and book it. All right, we decided to go for the room. Now, when I first went in there, the dude was very standoffish because I said I want to see the room before I book because there's a lot of people online have said these rooms are really poor quality and it's and it's an old building. I, I wouldn't expect it to be like a real modern, oh, it would ruin it if it was modern in there. But I just wanted to make sure that they weren't, because their pictures, I mean, the, if you have a look at the pictures for this place, the rooms don't even look all that nice. So they've got real poor pictures, but the room is actually really nice. They've just had a real poor photographer go in there and take the photos or something because they do not show off how good these rooms are. Um, so I just wanted to see the room and he was a bit standoffish, a bit like, yeah, sometimes people are with that, you know. He was like, oh, I'll show you on the screen here. And I said, oh, I've seen it online. I want to go and see it in person, obviously. I'm not, I'm not going to stay in the room unless I can see it. And he was like, oh, all right, whatever, go with this dude then. Like being a bit standoffish. He told me it was going to be 15,000 for the night. It would have, would have included breakfast and dinner, um, which actually sounds like a pretty good idea. Walking through here, honestly, the place is stunning. It's stunning. I've never seen anything like it before. This place is over 500 years old. I walked around in here with the dude to come and see the room. It's a long way up the hill to, to the room. So I did see a lot of the place on the way. And I thought this place is just too nice to not stay here. Usually if, if the staff are rude, I would, I would just leave straight away. But this is a very exceptional experience and uh, I didn't want to miss out on it. So we went in there and spoke to the dude. He said, what he'll do is include a guided tour as well for half an hour, that starts at half four. Comes with dinner tonight from t uh, eight till 10, and then there's breakfast in the morning. There's also yoga in the morning included, and there's also oh, complimentary tea and coffee, uh, sort of afternoon thing from five o'clock. So you get a lot with the room, and, and he actually did it for 12,000 in the end. I don't know why he changed the price. So, he told me it was 15,000 and then when he charged us, it was 12,000. So he's done us some sort of favor there. He was actually well all right. When I, when I went back in there, he was fine. Like in the hills.
tour was a bit rushed. It's interesting, but yeah, it didn't really go into too much detail about it. It's, it wasn't, wasn't too much about the history of the place, more about the refurbishment of the place, uh, which is quite impressive. They've done a bloody good job from what I can tell. They put two swimming pools in that weren't even here before and they showed you what was before and after. I don't know how you would ever think to build a swimming pool there. It was just ridiculous. It was like a big empty space on the side of a mountain. But uh, yeah, it was quite interesting. Uh, we just here you get, they, they offer you like complimentary tea and coffee and cakes and stuff now. A lot of this place is actually still the original work. It was built in like early 1400s. How mad is that? It's just so old and it's still sanding. Crazy. It was a ruin for absolute years as well, completely abandoned. It's definitely a great start into Rajasthan. Look at this. Nice chai tea with that view. Absolutely beautiful. It's a, it's a stunning fall. It's so sick. I've never seen anything like it before. And I've said that a lot about India. We've only been here for a few days and I've seen a lot of things I've never seen before. Well, I've never been scared away by a squirrel before. This is a new low for me. This is, this was so worth it. Right, check it out at night. It is actually spectacular at night. All these lights look so good. It looks sick. Very picturesque, but we don't have a camera capable of picturesquing it. Which is quite annoying, as always. But, yeah, you've got to take our word for it, and we've just got to appreciate it in person. How fucking boring. And if you want to experience it, you got to come here. Get your ass here. Come here. It's well worth it. Yeah. Well worth Nimrana. Stay at these palace. It's really not worth going elsewhere and then and just coming here for a day. It costs you 2,000 rupees just to get in if you're not staying here tonight. That's 20 quid. We're gonna go and see what dinner's all about now. Uh, yeah, gorgeous, mate. Bloody gorgeous. As expected, it is a dinner buffet. It's gonna be Indian food, it's gonna be glorious. The music in here is definitely hyping me up for some Indian food, but I'm gonna go and get some food now anyway. Let's go and see what they got. So nice, I can't wait. Right, first plate is a taster plate, right? I just got a little bit of a few things there. One thing I didn't get was that they've got like an Indian style pasta over there. Nat got it, I didn't get it. It is banging, it is really nice. It's like a curry, pasta curry, mate. It's nice I got I've never tried mutton before I've always heard it's not very nice but they got a mutton, mutton Brogan Josh over there so I thought I'd just give a bit of mutton a go it's well nice is it mm -hmm. is it tender mm -hmm. really tender it's nice not it's only a tiny bit spicy as well And it's really nice. Oh, I love Indian food, man. This is why I wanted to come here. Oh my God, so nice. I love it. I've got this other thing here as well. I don't know what this is. Is it me? Chicken? Mm -hmm. mm. No. It's 
not, it's not, but it's well nice. I don't I can't remember which one it was. Right, the food here is well nice. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Fucking hell. I love Indian food, man. Oh, so nice. Yes, every dish I've got from there is banging. There is also a whole host of desserts at your disposal. And I can't wait to try them. They all look so nice. I couldn't decide what to have, so I grabbed a little bit of everything. They got little white chocolate chips over there, chocolate sauce. They got uh, biscuit crumbs. They got chocolate cake. They got cream cake. They've got banana pudding. They've got mango ice cream. Mate, they've got everything over there. It is perfect. I'm in heaven right now. I love this place. The trick to eating a buffet, especially dessert, is to just start cramming it in and eat as much as you can before you feel sick. If you eat it quickly, you, your brain won't know that your stomach's full and you can get more in and you can savour it for longer. That's a top tip there, by the way. In my opinion, the banana pudding with the chocolate sauce, the white chocolate chips and the biscuit crumbs with the mango ice cream is the best. The best. If you can imagine a banana muffin, right? You warm it up and you mash it all up and you put it all in a tray and just keep it all nice and warm. Put some chocolate sauce on there with some biscuit crumbs and a little bit of ice cream. That is so nice. Like that is what this is. It's so good. Yeah. Very happy with this. Very happy. We made the right choice. This is a good place to stay. Great food. Love it. Anyway, good night people. Good morning. It is 9am and we did not make yoga at 7. We're going to go and have... Oh, look at that. We're going to go and have breakfast now. Breakfast is on from half 7 till 10. We're going to go and see how good it is now. Dinner was good and that tea thing was good, so... I've got high expectations for this. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen our, our video on the Imperial in New Delhi. It's a five-star hotel. This is four and you can really tell the difference. The staff here are not interested in welcoming you or saying hello or anything. That's that's the negative. I say the people here have been sort of the negative, the people who work here. But other than that, the place is lovely. The food's been good. All right, similar to dinner time, you got a buffet here. There's a lot of Indian food up there. I can't really stomach it first thing in the morning. It's really not what I fancy. So I've actually just gone for some four and old porridge. Oh. They make you sort of live eggs and that as there as well. Where they make you omelettes, fried eggs, scrambled eggs, anything you want. And I'm just going to get a couple of them as well. There's breads over there, there's masala tea, there's coffee, there's fruit. There's a lot of stuff up there. It's basically, you can pretty much have whatever you want. Um, the cereals, juice, everything. Everything you would want at a breakfast buffet is there. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it. It's just a shame, I don't know, maybe it's just because we come from that other place, but I think the staff here are, could definitely do with some fucking people skills. All right, we're out of here. That was a quite a fun night's stay. Well worth it. It's a nice little stopover as well, right in between Delhi and Jaipur. We're going to go walk back down to the bus stop now. It's about a half an hour walk down to the main road where the bus stops. Probably going to be around f over 40 degrees again today. It's pretty hot here every day. Yeah, it's a pretty nice, pretty nice hotel in conclusion. It was all right. The, the staff there, are no, they have no uh, hospitality skills at all, most of them. The actual fort itself is unbelievable. Never seen anything like it. And to be able to stay in there as well, like the, the place was built in the early 1400s. Like, it's so old. Um, it's just a real cool experience. Yeah, I would definitely recommend getting this done on the way down. It was, uh, it's been good fun. Oh, I really get the feeling they don't see many tourists walking through this village. Oh, I say village, it's like a little, real small town. I think most people, most tourists when they come here, they probably get dropped off with by the bus, jump in a tuk-tuk straight to the fort because there's not really anything else here. And the, and the tuk tuk's probably pretty cheap to be honest, but we, we always like to walk through and just see the place. And we're also getting a lot of hellos, a lot of smiles. Everyone sort of starts talking between themselves. You could easily, be mistaken for thinking you're actually something special. <laughs> oh, nearly at the bus stop. Now, the annoying thing is about this place is if you want to catch a bus, you got to wait on the flyover, which is that main road. And uh, our bus is late, but I don't know how late. I think quite quite late. But I can't wait in the shade anywhere because I'm going to miss it. So I've got to wait here on the main road in the sun for a bus. It's pretty crazy. Oh.
Mate, so many people have been stopping to offer us help. Asking them if we need them to drop us somewhere. Asking us if we need a shade. They're very welcoming. I love the Indian people. They're actually really nice. Oh, Nat's about to get taken. <laughs> Here we are. Just what? as well it's not hot. We've got to wait on the, on the main road here for our bus in the heat. This is crazy, it's so unsafe. The roads here are mental enough as it is. I don't even know how long we've got to wait here for. Oh mate, we've been out here for ages. I knew we would be. I've just, finally my internet's working though and I can see the bus tracker. He's about 9.8 miles away. This is long, man. There should be a bus shelter here. I'm gonna put in a request for the government. Here we are, we're on the bus. And I am cramped up in this little cubby hole here. And it's actually really comfortable in here. And I can close this door and have the aircon blasting me because we, we, got, we got a bus yesterday, sat down on one of the seats down there and it was so hot, man. The aircon does not circulate very well around here and it wasn't blowing out too hard, so. Yeah, this is this is much better and it's a lot more comfortable than sitting down there. 